Hello, and welcome to this Google Sheets training course. This tutorial, we're going to talk about conditional formatting, what it can do for you. Now, we're not going to go through the basics. There's many tutorials out there to cover the basics of conditional formatting Google Sheets. This time, we're going to have a look at formatting an entire row based on a single value of a cell within the same row. So just to give you an example, just over here, we can see uh, names of people. So we've got the name. Uh, here we have John. And we can see John here is employed. Now, I want to color the entire row so it's green. So how do I go about that? Firstly, let's bring up uh, conditional formatting. I'll move myself out of the way because I know it's just up here. I'm going to go to Format and go down to and click on Conditional Formatting. And here I can see my conditional formatting here on this side just over here. All right, so first thing is apply to the range. So if I click and highlight that, and what I'm going to do is select these cells, and that's the select data range here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put a dollar sign in front of the column letters here. So the columns, I put a dollar sign in front of that so it fixes the columns so that when I apply my formula, which I'm just about to do, it doesn't shift left or right. So I'm going to click on OK. And now we have applied to range there. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to uh, zoom in a little bit. There we go. And where it says cell is not empty, if you click that and just go all the way down to and scroll down to custom formula is. That's it, just scroll up a little bit. And then we can type in a formula. Now, this formula needs to equate to true for it to work. So I'm going to type in equals. And this time I need to type a dollar in so I fix the column so that when I apply it to other rows, it doesn't shift left or right. And then I'm going to type B2 is equal to, and I'm going to type a Y in brackets. So if it's equal to yes, it will be whatever color I've determined down here. I'm not going to change the formatting style. You can work that out for yourself. It's quite straightforward. But now you can then see if I just zoom back. Uh, you can see over here. In fact, if I just zoom in over here, you can see the entire column is changed. If I then go and I decide, you know what? Let's just change this one to a Y. See so the entire column then changes. Great. So I hope that works for you. Uh, let's just take this one step further. Let's say, for instance, we want to have a drop down list just over here. Maybe that says yes and no. And then when I click on the yes and no, then these um, these change here. So let's see if we can do that, shall we? So first, let's create the drop down list. That's in data validation. So it's data, then data validation. And then I'm going to do list of items. Here, you know, uh, y, comma, n. There we go. Click on save. And then I've got my drop down list here, y, and I've got n. Excellent. Good. So I'm going to default this to y here. Great. So now I need to change this conditional formatting over here. So if I make sure this is selected, oh, well, I can see it here. Now instead of, and let me just zoom in just a tab here. Here we go. Now instead of B2 equals Y, I'm going to change that and say B2 equals D1. Now this time I'm going to have to put a dollar sign not just in front of the D, but also in front of the 1 so that it fixes the column. So if I'm going left and right, my conditional formatting, it's not going to shift and it fixes the row more importantly so if i'm not going up and down if i'm going up and down or bringing more in it fixes the row it's not going to shift that that's great fantastic so now if i just zoom back click on done that's done there now if i want to change the formatting i can now go to n and now it's going to highlight all the ends if i click on here and i go to the y it highlights all the y's so there we go that's pretty good for the conditional formatting uh, just a couple of little things with this here. It might be worthwhile if I click back changing this formula um, so that uh, I'll just cancel this one here actually. If I just go back, if I come back to edit the formula, it's just annoying because you see it just removes the dollar signs here. What I want to do here is I want to change everything. So I'm just going to go A to B 
and then I'm just going to put a dollar sign in front of the A and one in front of the B. So it's just fixing those ones there. I'm just going to click on done. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now if I click on N or sort of the Y here, uh, so this is shifting these ones up and down. So I've just got to just change this rule here. So let's just go back here, shall we? Let's just have a look at this rule. So yeah, so this is A to B, and I've got B2 to B. All right then, okay. So what I'm just going to have to do here, because this one's going to shift down, is just lock these ones. So if I lock the A, I lock the B, that looks good. Let me just click on done. That looks good. Okay, let's see if I can shift these ones here to wise. Uh, to no. Just see why that's working. Oh, I know why. What I just need to do is just one last thing. It needs to be A2, because that's why I'm starting. So A2, dollar sign in front of the A, and the dollar sign in front of the B. That looks good. Let's click on done. That's better. Great. So the purpose of this is now I can click on these and change, like so. But I can add in other people. So say, for instance, if I have in a Tom and then type in a Y, that's automatically highlighted. Just going to centrally align that whole column. There we go. Yeah. It doesn't change. Again, if I want to change this anywhere along the lines, if I go to the ends, I can see it's updated the ends, you know, for not employed or employed. That's great. Um, if you need to add other conditional formatting, so say, for instance, you need one to be red and one to be um, uh, um, green, then you just add another rule on top of this one. So you just make sure this one's selected. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can duplicate this rule here, but what I'm just going to do is add another rule while it's fresh in my memory. Uh, let's just see if we can apply to the range here. Uh, so select range here. There we go. So we can select the range here. So what I'm going to do is going to say A2, A2 to dollar B, and what did we say? 1,000. Click on OK. And then let's say custom formula is uh, equal to dollar B2 does not equal and then it will be dollar D dollar one so if it doesn't equal um, so if B2 does not equal D1 so obviously we need to change the color here so let's just change it to sort of like a red or pinky color like so that's great Let's click on done. So now we can go through one and the other here. So if I choose the ends, you can see it swaps. And the Y's, and it swaps there. Just really having a muck around with that uh, here. Yeah, that's good. Again, we've got lots of extras here. So we might need to just look at that rule one more time. Uh, so as it says, if it's not that, so let's have a look here. Uh, See, I don't like the way it automatically deletes this here. Maybe if there's a way to get rid of the dollar signs, it deletes those dollar signs there. So let's say, for instance, we're going to put an AND formula in here. And then put dollar B2 does not equal blank. There we go. So as long as dollar B2 does not equal B1 and dollar B2 does not equal blank. Click on that. OK. Now this makes sense and it's not got much horrible reds going all the way down there. I can click on this drop down list. I can choose no. I can swap them around depending on which color I wanted to see here. So it's a real muck around just to give you an idea of what we're looking for, you know, um, here. So um, it gives you a rough idea of what you can do with conditional formatting. 
So if you want to take a Google Sheets course, then we can click on the link below. It'll take us to, it'll take you to our website where you can book a course. Um, uh, if you have any questions or anything at all, then post them below. If you've got anything out of this, give it a thumbs up, say that you like it. Uh, and remember to subscribe and click the bell option so you don't miss the further uh, videos that will be coming. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.